Good day, sir. Never thought I'd do another one of these. Oh, what am I interrogating myself? I started getting up super early again. Well, super early relative to me. Kind of like an early morning work session, sort of shower and stuff. Maybe take a nap and then get back to it for the day. Yeah, the whole uh, 5.30 a.m. thing started last week, just more of a random endeavor. I feel like it's easier to stay disciplined than not in some cases, and I needed to get it to bed on time. It was kind of annoying. I have some oatmeal and some tea, and I'm gonna read for a little bit. It's my compromise of not going back to sleep and not doing work yet. I don't know how to do these videos anymore, man. I film everything. Why is there a warning light? I started printing something last night. It it did it. I'm gonna clean that up real quick. I forgot about that. That looks like a successful print. I just can't break the supports. It's not that important. Infinite Game is just all about gamifying uh, life, but it's not gamifying in order to be better at life. It's it's really just trying to create an extrinsic motivation that is also fun. Why do we play a game where you have to walk across an open world? You know why why do we do that? Why don't we just go outside? Why do we prefer to weed in Animal Crossing than weed in real life? It's to try and bridge that gap, and I think it's a productivity app, because in theory it makes you more productive, but I think it's trying to create a tangible version of my latest way I see the world. Yeah, I'm gonna clean up this 3D print and then I'll uh, get to some work. It's front end day. A lot of the full stack communication stuff is done. I finished some stuff up last night, and I gotta bring over my crappy designs <laughs> into, <laughs> into view. The pig has been cleaned up, it's in the curing chamber. So this is the brief color palette and design I came up with late last night, and there's a reason I'm not a designer. On my right, I've got the the general folder for Infinite Game, and then I've got the back end, which we will go ahead and do air local to run. The Docker stuff's already running, and then the bottom is the uh, front end. So npm run dev. I like air, uh, it just hot refreshing, and I just don't, working within the Docker containers can be a bit of a pain, and I don't need to right now. The current state of the app, we have these four emails have a bunch of mock data that I loaded onto the back end to the database. We have quests, which you can see up here, slash quests. This is very just basic, like just HTML, for loops. So all the data is coming from the back end and going to the front end. That's all sorted out. I try, I I'm getting there. To just get like a full hour, if not two hours of work done in the early morning and then I'll like take a nap then I'll do my shower and whatever. Like I'm still in my pajamas. That's the goal is just to do some work, get some stuff done. Sometimes it might not always be successful. Someone did ask in my last video what my daily schedule was like and I mean, I used to be so much more type A in college and I kind of lean into that type A. So this is what that week was like. I'm trying to be a little less intense with that schedule, but a lot of Japanese today, I'm teaching later today. The goal is four hours of deep work a day. That does not mean I get less than four hours of work done or more than. It's just like last night, for example, I was working for maybe an hour and a half, but I was also like watching TV and I don't call that deep work because I also just got less done in that work. Having the trailer board's nice. Oh, this is done, isn't it? I like working with the whole, with the full stack in the back end. But anyway, today's front end day, so I'm gonna jump into some quote unquote design and we'll see how it goes. <sighs> some indicator of positive negative streak at the moment. Cool. We have all this information, the fun part's been done, <laughs> and now I get to jump into front end, which I do like because when, when you're working with front end, you get you make a change and you get to see it happen right away. I need to take a small nap though, my head hurts. 10.21, I slept for like two hours. <laughs> I'm waking up earlier and I'm drinking like a third of the caffeine, but it still feels good to have done an hour of work earlier this morning. Shower, journal, some Japanese study, and a good two hours of work before I teach. That's the goal. See this? This is a Discord server. You should join it. The link is in the description. I didn't call it out in the last video, but you should do it. And you should make sure that you react 
in the rules and info so you can see all the channels. But you should join. We don't bite. I can say for most most of us don't. All right, yesterday feels all uh, <laughs> literally just said yesterday. This morning was good, got the designs out of the way, so now it's really just jumping into the front end. Looking up less CSS, that's the goal for the day. I'm gonna kick off with a two hour deep work session. I'll be a little distracted because I have to charge some robots and stuff for the class I teach today, and I might have to do some scratch in a little bit, but I got time. Very simple login screen, I mean, it took me about an hour. When you learn these new things, right, is like you have to take your existing knowledge and you're like, okay, I wanna just do this in plain CSS. I know how to do it, but I gotta question everything I do to make sure I'm doing it in the less style. And so with that, you know, I just went through on the less thing and I skimmed through this to figure out variables. And, and this, namely, these parent selectors are, are what caught my eye. I don't know what the titles are and what the descriptions are. So we're gonna really be flying by what the JSON says. This was a mistake when making the data, I think. Everything is so big, I don't like it. So this is, you know, progress here for the day. Doing the front end work definitely felt a little slow today. I think it's just been a while and, and because I'm kind of using this new CSS preprocessor that I've never really used before, I'm going back and forth a lot. It's kind of like when I first started the Golang back end, but worse. I'm just doing a lot of guessing and checking and I'm hoping that even by battles, I'll be like 50% faster and when they get to the next two features, I can kind of just write out a bunch of stuff and have it all show up as opposed to writing like literally two lines in the in less and then seeing what it does. Especially as variables and stuff come about. Three hours of infinite game work done today, an hour in the morning, which was designed two hours of front-end work and it kind of that's kind of the workflow I mean as you get things up you build up one side you build up another and then kind of add features to both as as necessary anyway the hardest part of those just starting and so the two hours kind of went by quick and feels good started today off on a weird foot but just it, to me it seems like action and getting some stuff done is a really good not cure but alleviates my mood it lifts my mood a lot I just wish I was working on this front-end stuff a little faster it's a little more straightforward than back-end sometimes but it's not easy and especially I'm trying to just question everything I do All right, it is 4.54. I gotta leave around 6.15. Don't think I'm gonna do anything. <laughs> I'll have an update if I do some infinite game tonight. Slash, we'll see what happens tomorrow. they're watching me work it's a little weird it's done really just garbage appearance to be honest so the quest nav is all set up it wasn't too difficult i got really in the weeds on the css i definitely got up late today i woke up at 5 30 and my eyes were just tired and i went back to sleep and i got up around 8 and then out of bed at 8 30 and i sat my butt down at 9 was only going to do an hour, but it ended up being an hour and a half. I have some Japanese to do in a minute. Here, these first three lines, we'll call it Infinite Game, Yokoso, and Signing with Google. That's what I want this to look like. I know it doesn't look good, but it doesn't necessarily look bad. Let's just log in with one of these. One thing I definitely need to do is make this whole thing just narrower. Because if we look at Finite Vault, see how it's way narrower? What if I just did that right now? Also, in general, my work style is to prefer to get things up looking like this. <laughs> It's not the worst thing in the world. It has the basics of what I want, but I just don't think it's great. I know I can do better, but the way that I'm working on this project and what I'm trying to do with it, it's okay to leave it for now. Here, yeah, 20%, no way. Oh, um, yeah, that's better, honestly. I'm gonna get rid of these boxes in a way. I don't, I like the idea of just what you need pops out. There's no like, weird background stuff happening. Stuff to, you know, finesse in the, in the future. You know, this is the basic, you can skip through, look at your quests, check them on, check them off. Again, just defining these very small, like, completion objectives. My win condition is not to finish the main quests. It's to finish the stuff I outline on this card. And yes, it, it somewhat changed, but I got the color palette set up. I got something on here. I know what I don't like here. That's the important thing. I know what to skip next time. I said this note, just like don't use AI to code. And I, you know, more or less I stand by that. I'm doing all the coding from scratch. Well, not from 
total scratch, obviously. But let's take the CSS I've been doing, for example. I could be using a UI library and making my life a lot easier. And I think it would, the website would look better, but I'm not gonna learn anything about less if I do that. I have these huge file dumps. I have, I think, 60 something lines, 60 exactly lines of different battles. So right now I'm waiting, I'm just using cursor, which is the one I hear a lot about. And I've pretty much just said, hey, a lot of this uses lorem ipsum text right now. There's a title, a short description, and a long description on each of these JSON fields. I want you to go ahead and generate a title and relevant description field for each of these things. Don't change anything else. I just didn't want to stare at lorem ipsum text continuously. Just a quick thing of like how I use AI in my workflow. Generate the data, don't do the work for you. In my opinion, I'm not gonna learn anything if I do that. One of my favorite things when you're just making something is that there's a moment where it all kind of feels like it comes together. Impeccably, you know, I, I pruned all the Docker right away. Docker composed up, all the formatting came into the system perfectly. And if we just go ahead and log in, like it, this, at this moment, seeing the real, quote unquote, more real data feels so good. Great and follow monthly budget, financial freedom path. There's only two working objectives, but that's okay. It feels real, it's very functional now. Creating from the bottom up is tedious because you don't get to see these results right away. When you're refining and you're polishing something you're working on, you get to see those changes. First time I felt like this with Infinite Game, I think. Now I'm gonna get those info and task buttons working and hopefully that's just wrapping up main quests. I'm gonna plug my own playlist. I just created today. Earlier in this video, I made a comment about how I was constantly going back and forth between this and the code. And just now I did all of this without going back. I'm confident that it's gonna be okay. <laughs> but this is one of those things where it's like, all right, I just wrote a bunch of stuff. So our goal is to get to these designs. I am not moving the button. I just, whatever, decked it. So. Well, it doesn't not work. <laughs> hey, these are better. Cool. That's so funny though. Okay, this makes sense. This needs to be a new component in the future anyway, but hey, that worked. Oh, because information is just one big text blob, isn't it? I mean, it's just that easy. Oh, and there's another less thing I like doing. I don't know, just like up here, I have the current quest info and, and in the past, I would have given this a class, you know, in the current quest test, this would have had a class because you can just nest them. In the tasks, I have, you know, UL, LI, each of these elements. Nice, okay, well, that's cool. It shows both, obviously, we don't wanna, you know, maintain that idea. Again, design all comes later. Yeah, so it works. Main quest is kind of done, which is amazing because I want to do battles. I think battles are going to be more educative on some design choices. All right, I'm going to just wrap up. You know, it's good to feel excited to do the next thing. That was what, a 90 minute session? I was locked in. Wasn't feeling great, but like I've said, action is kind of a cure in some ways for me. So, oh look, four hours. I guess like six hours ish total today and yesterday was what got this done. I know some people asked me in my last video about my schedule and by some, I mean, I think maybe two or three comments. I would probably do an hour, two hours of work on a good day on Infinite Game. There would be more studying throughout. I'm only sort of taking it chill at the moment. So thanks for joining me on this little uh, two day adventure. Yesterday was better in terms of an ideal, but I still got some stuff done today. It doesn't really matter how, you know, how early you wake up. It just matters what you do at the time that you're awake. I'm trying to wake up at five, so be it. If I can't stay up sometimes, that's its own fight. Every day I just shoot for this kind of ideal. You figure out what works and what doesn't work. Working after eating, definite no-go for me kind of thing. Eating a lot, at least. The small lunch isn't gonna make a break. I tend to eat a lot. Trying to balance with Japanese. It's like it's 5.30 and I really want to do some more Japanese. I don't know. I just wanted to, to bring along for a devlog and two days of just kind of striving for this ideal. This is what kind of looks like getting something done. I like to think I can usually work a little faster. We're doing some new stuff. And I tried to force myself not to do some design stuff. I haven't even thought about what happens if I log in and there's nothing there. Yeah, so there's a bunch of stuff. <laughs> bugs will be bugs. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. What are you working on? Curious to hear about it uh, genuinely. I just like seeing people make things. And I think at the end of the day, there are parts of the work where it sucks, but then you hit the point where it's like, oh my God, it exists. And knowing that that's coming up is, is nice. So anyway, have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.